What's up guys, just got out here. I'm gonna throw a crankbait for a little while. Try for some sock lamb, I'm try to dark. See what happens. Y'all seen in other videos, that's my Fluger MGX. And I got the chartreuse and black on, on my Shimano Cellus, worm and jig rod. I use it for sock lay, I like it. I'm fishing probably about a foot and a half, two foot deep. Then I got my uh, Bass Pro Extreme. This is the Enigma, which is like the anti-backlash reel. I don't know. It's it's all right. It don't work too well, but I don't have any issues backlash or anything anymore. But I bought it a long time ago, but I use it on the Shimano Valtius. And I got the KVD 1.0 silent crankbait. They seem to love that color here. They must have done some new stuff over here because they put all these rocks along that bank back there. Probably be good now to throw a crankbait off them rocks. Probably be good. But uh, I'm going to stay... But I'm going to stay right here and do majority of my fishing right here in this culvert. I just don't feel like walking today, so. Let's see when we get some. Alright. On the crankbait. A baby. But, it's a crankbait fish. Bang it off them stumps underneath there. Hoping for a big guy, but just a baby. What the that? Freaking pipe. You catch all kind of stuff in the damn canal, huh? Freaking pipe. Caught a pipe. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just catching all kind of stuff today. Big old clam. Check that out. Oh my God, come on, there we go, caught a nice bass, all right, nice bass. All right, buddy, come tell your grandpa to come get it. Uh, it's just a little medium-sized one. Caught me a little sockily. Yeah, I caught a little one. Oh, he's stupid warm, too. Yep. Alright, so I ended up with two bass and a sockily. I caught a big clam. I caught a pole. And then I uh, lost my favorite crankbait. Trying to fish down that way. Freaking because... People don't know when you're fishing with perch, you don't need to use 50 pound braid. I got hung up on somebody's heavy, heavy braid and broke my damn line and lost my favorite crankbait, which is the KVD Black and Chartreuse Silent 1.0. I love that crankbait. Now I gotta go spend six bucks to get another one. That's why fishing is expensive. But I wasn't even really trying today. I was just coming out here to play around, relax my mind. That's it. And uh, I hope y'all liked the video. As always, make sure you subscribe, drop a like, comment. I'm getting torn up by mosquitoes. So I'm going to see y'all next time. I'm about to leave. <laughs> Later. All right, guys. Here's my tip for y'all. Whenever you throw on a crankbait, you have to bang it into stuff, whether it be rock, wood, some kind of structure. Because that erratic when action, when it's hitting stuff, that's what's going to trigger those bass by having a reaction strike. Also, when you're fishing dirty water, I use like chartreuse, red's a good color, orange, anything like that. It shows up well in dirty water. Black, blue, stuff like that shows up really well. Dark colors and like fluorescent colors. I was out there fishing and I wasn't getting deep enough with that shallow diver because they had the water was a little high in this particular area because we just had some rain. So what I did is... I stuck my pole in the water, like two feet down, three feet down, so I could get where I was reeling so I could hit the tops of those stumps. As soon as I did that and I started sticking that pole in the water, that's when I started getting my bites. I had a few other bites, but they were short strikes. I had them slap the end of it and stuff like that. I didn't hook any and lose any. 
I had a big one. I know I had a big one hit because when he big ones when you know what they feel like when you hook one, it's a stop. It's just whoo, and that's it. Well, it just stopped and it was gone just like that. So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, I'm going out in the morning tomorrow to go catch some. Y'all wish me luck. Later.